What's up everybody, this is Kevin Jones and here look at what I'm throwing for the 2023 season. So I start with my putters. I like 350 G PA threes. I like firm. I don't like tacky for putting. I want them firm. I like to be able to breathe on my hand and create the tackiness on the disc. I feel like that's the most consistent thing for me. My flippiest putter is a 300 PA3, turns hard to the right. My straight putter is a 300 PA3, and then my straight to overstable putter is a 300 PA3. I carry one distortion in the bag. It's really pancake. It's like concave on top. This is really sidearm torque resistant. I throw it exclusively on sidearms. It goes straight, it takes the torque, and it falls to the ground. It doesn't turn off to the side. It doesn't like hit the ground on an angle and roll. It lands flat. I just put an A2 in the bag. This is very similar to the A3. It just has a little more hook at the end. Sometimes I'll throw it on backhand lines, anti-flexes, sidearm anti-flexes. It doesn't go very far, it's kind of like a dart. I carry a 750 A3. This one's key because it's board flat, so it's very torque resistant for sidearms. There's no movement to the left at all. Unless I throw it full power, then I'll maybe get some turn to the left, but then dependent fade at the right. You've seen me throw this one for years. My mid-ranges start with an MX3. This is my flippiest MX3. It's in 750 plastic. Straight out of the box, it slow turns super far to the right. I step up to a 500 MX3 for straighter shots. This one's really good in tailwinds. It has no movement either direction in tailwinds. It just goes really straight. If there's no wind, I can get it to drift a little bit to the right. And then I have this new M2 in 750G plastic. This is a really overstable M2, so I throw this for up shots with headwind, something I know it's just gonna hold left on me. Stepping up to my fairways, this is my oldest fairway probably. It's a 400 FX2. This one's extremely beat up. It only weighs 169 grams, so it really cruises. This is a very, very str strong, powerful disc for me. Then I have a sidearm fairway. This is an F5. It came in this board flat shape also, which gives it more torque resistance basically. So I can throw it sidearm and it doesn't have speed wobbles to the left. It's very clean. I can get it to turn left for a long time if I need, or I can just kind of like get it to flip up flat and then finish right. This one's really good in the woods. I love this disc. I have a 750 FX2. This is a bread and butter fairway for me right now. If I throw it flat, it turns a little bit to the right, then comes back left. If I throw it on hyzer, it flips up to straight, goes straight, finishes left. Great fairway driver. The step above that is this 400 FX4. You would think FX4s would be flippier. Sometimes they are, but in this case, this one's a little more overstable than that FX2 because that FX2 is really old. This one, if I throw flat, it does move just barely to the right and then back left, but not much movement at all. It's really consistent disc. This is one of my favorite new ones in Prodigy's lineup. Next up, I have a Feedback. This is the new one in my lineup. I'm excited about this disc. Great compliment to the FX4 right there. If I throw it flat, it doesn't have any movement to the right. It holds straight and then moves to the left. So this one is good for like sweeping hyzers if I wanna bring it in. 350, maybe 400 feet is comfortable for me with this. But the feedback's gonna be a good disc for me in the next couple years, I would say. Last fairway driver is my 750FX2. Luke got this dyed in Finland. Shout out to the guy who dyed this. Uh, it's so beautiful, but it's even more beautiful of a shaped disc. This disc is so overstable. You're not gonna find FX2s this overstable very often, but I can tell it's overstable because it has a dome on top and then it has that high edge also on the end. So that disc is like 
really overstable. No movement to the right. This one's headwind, trusty, all day. Now, last in the lineup, I've got drivers. My flippiest driver right now is this Slip Ace OTB uh, Reverb. This one is a really good flyer for me if I need like long distance sidearm or the longest distance backhand with the most flip up, I throw this one right here. Next up in stability is this orange one and this is reasonably overstable. I throw this into headwinds on full hyzer angles and this is my farthest flying disc. This is an old school 400G D2. I get the most distance and the most consistency out of this disc right here. I would say this is one of my most favorite discs in my bag. Next up in stability is this blue 500 reverb right here. This is a great driver for all my driving needs. I throw it hyzer backhand, I throw it flat backhand, throw it sidearm. It's got great stability, a little bit more stability than that orange one right there. And that's when I'll throw this if I think I need a little more stability. Very similar disc is this 400 reverb. I usually carry a couple of the same discs so that I can rep them in practice and just get more repetitions, more practice. Finally, I've got an X1 in 750 plastic. This is what I'm throwing into most headwinds if I'm afraid my disc isn't gonna be able to hold up. You know this is gonna hold up. This works sidearm, it works backhand, it's awesome. I'll throw it about 350 feet sidearm and then I'll throw it maybe 400 feet backhand. And it has a little bit of cruise to it as opposed to my final disc in my bag which is a brand new X1. And this has no turn, no cruise, puts on the brakes immediately. Whenever you have that wind in, in your face that's just too much, you really have no idea what's gonna happen to the disc. This is the only thing I can trust that's just gonna go straight and uh, not get flipped over and, and lose control. So there you have it guys. That was a quick look at what's in my bag for the 2023 season. I'm feeling really comfortable. I've got a great lineup of discs thanks to Prodigy. I can attack any course out there on tour and I'm excited to do it.